Does reverse osmosis remove chlorine? Yes, it does. Uh, look, part of what goes on with the whole part of the system is you're, you're taking out large things and then, and then smaller things like some of these chemicals. Uh, all your reverse osmosis systems all have carbon uh, in there somewhere to remove chlorine. Because uh, if you don't remove chlorine, the uh, membrane that it's made out of, it will dry it out and crack it. And then uh, picture your membrane like having these microscopic holes that are only big enough for H2O molecules to make it through for the most part. But if you have something in there that dries this membrane out, then it can crack. Now you've got bigger openings for other things to make it in. So they always have some sort of carbon in there to do that. And some of your systems have a lot more carbon in there to, to remove it because some areas have a lot more chlorine than others. So these are all factors when choosing a reverse osmosis system. So it's like people think, oh, I'll just get a, a three stage rather than a five stage. And then what happens there? Well, that, that filter wears out, boom, your membrane goes. And now what money you saved on your system, you just spent having to replace uh, those filters plus the membrane all factors in it so it's yes it does remove chlorine and some of them do uh, a larger quantity than others